Watch this. This is how fast I can install this. Hang on. Get it here. Okay. Okay. See that here? All I'm gonna do is just toss it in there and it's gonna stick and everything's gonna be connected. One, two, three. Okay, in my car here, I'm oh, start over. Okay, got old Mr. Big Max up there running. It's not really that cold outside yet. The cold is coming, but I need to knock off the chill in your shop. Anyway, get you up to date what's going on here. I am getting all the wires kind of routed in their destination where uh, things are going to be at. You know, like our gauge cluster, our switches are typically down here. Uh, all this stuff. So I'm basically getting the wires where they, where they are needed to be at. So, and most of them have already have their little labels on the end and all, all that stuff. So anyway, I am trying to get everything sorted out down there. Uh, making pretty good progress. Not sure you can see all that. But anyway, yeah, it still looks like a mess down there, but it's an organized mess per se. I'm starting to, oops, here we go. I'm starting to clean up some of the wiring stuff here. Get everything tied back properly uh zip tied properly all that good stuff so yeah i'm trying to get it organized as best i can uh all out here is pretty much all done and all labeled so i'll got all the wires i need here i think i have to run two more wires for our bump start switch on the front uh then i got a few more wires here then after i get all those wires ran and those are what i considered kind of loose wires okay the loose wires are like wires going to a location a source wire let's put it that way a source wire is more like going to a temp sensor to the headlights to the water pump fuel pump stuff like that that's why i'm considered a source wire the direct they're going directly from a gauge to a location to a uh switch to a location something like that okay so those are the ones that uh have have been cleaned up and ran already now the next part i'm going to have to do i'm going to have to get the power panel in here then i'm going to run some even more wires okay and those wires are going to go to like the switches all that stuff so basically you're going to have um wires coming out of the power panel into your switches that switch is going to activate the relay on the power panel. Though on the outer of the power panel, it's going to go turn on something. Okay? So, rather be a headlight, a pump, who knows. So, those wires have yet to be ran. Some of them have already been ran. The source, Some of the source wires have already been ran. Um, not all of them, but some of them have. So, all that still has to be made. But, I'm not going to make those cables uh, with the connectors, you know those that's not going to happen until i get the power panel on so with that that's when we get ready to do next i'm going to try to get this power panel actually inside the car so i can start concentrating and running wires to and from it so anyway with that let's get started get that power panel in the car Woo uh let me show you a little update okay oh my goodness <laughs> yeah i got it in there it's all bolted in um i hope you can see it i should have kept the light on but i do have some of the connectors already made routed it's my wide band it's all wired in pressure sw switch it's all wired in a bunch of the uh wires going up to the front for the pumps and all that stuff that's all connected in uh i'll show you up here Okay, this is where my MSD box sits, right up in here. All this is all wired in. So, pretty much from the motor back this way, if the MSD box, everything, all the sensors and all that, at least on this side motor, a few more sensors on that side motor, I still gotta get wired in, but that goes to the gauges. But pretty much all from here, 
all the way up into the car is all wired in okay we did get the board in uh i think that's for the third time <laughs> so we had to take the i had to take that board in and out in and out in and out but anyway good news is uh i got all my connectors on all my switches and stuff and they actually work let me go ahead and flip on the power back here okay yeah oops nothing blew up didn't pop any fuses yet uh, in fact i did pop a few fuses just because i stuck like a pie vamp fuse in there and it popped and i went okay throw a bigger fuse in look at it document it on my schematic here so anyway uh but yeah uh this is starter uh it didn't spin over because i do not have the main star water on so it's just popping the solenoid um so but yeah that's the uh, ignition there uh <laughs> fuel pump but yeah but you can see some of this stuff so yeah they all work these are mainly the light switches for uh headlights and stuff you notice it came on over there so we got uh tail lights headlights and gauge lights so then we got uh uh this is actually the record lights for the wideband so uh but yeah all that comes on uh, hopefully these lights won't be that big of a deterrence inside the car in, at night, but wait to be seen. I don't think so because most of those switches are going to be kept low and going to be out of my view. So I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. If it is, then I'm going to have to do something different. But anyway, for now, they're going to stay. Uh, the only thing I got yet to wire up is uh, I have this done, this done, have wire going up here, then this uh is going to feed my gauge cluster i need to get all that my gauge cluster figured in i got some line lock stuff to do brake pedal and power windows so yeah that's not a good work that's that's a good more uh, i don't know two or three days worth of work plus i got some projects around the house i have to get done as well so we are getting closer and closer of getting this project wrapped up or I shouldn't say wrapped up, but I guess we could say wrapped up. Okay. Progress is being made. Getting the final last connections made. Uh, about ready to get the gauge cluster connected. Get ready to get this guy connected. We are really, really close. Uh, pretty much got everything almost wired up and almost all verified and tested. Only thing I got to get going is the... Uh, power window switch and this is lights for the interior lights so i still got to get some connectors for that in fact i ran out of two pin connectors so <clears throat> got some of those on order they'll be here tomorrow and i'll be able to finish up at least over here so anyway yes we're uh, almost got everything tested once we get everything tested guess what dash comes in next so uh the only thing else i have to get done is that's right the schematic and that's the panel board layout the schematics laying over there somewhere anyway i know in my video three i mentioned about my schematics uh i did not post them in video three and i think i had a little disclaimer in video three say uh i was going to do that but uh i said no so uh anyway they will be here on this final video version so anyway let's go ahead and get all this stuff connected up verified and tested dash comes in next then basically clean up then the final product i will show you so okay i'm going to talk about the panel board here just a few for about a minute or so anyway uh hopefully you can see this uh kind of use this as a pointer anyway uh i am sizing my fuses properly and stuff um but that's something you have to do because when i first started putting fuses in here I wasn't looking at the sizes and they were popping left and right so i went in and started sizing all my fuses to make sure i got the right proper suit or fuse because there are two different or two fuses in here one we have a source fuse that supplies the power to the circuit and then the output of the relay requires another fuse so uh anyway that's something to be concerned about so usually it doesn't take much power or you know amperage to activate the relays but once you activate it, it does require the source draws a lot of current so you'd have to have the right size of fuse so uh so yeah that's some consideration 
Uh, I do like this circuitry because when a fuse does pop, guess what? A little indicator comes on and say, hey, this circuit's open. So it's pretty, pretty good, pretty good thing to have so you can visually tell what uh, fuse is actually popped. Okay, I gotta pretend like a fuse popped. Basically, I just pushed it out. Uh, whoops. But we'll say this is where it mean a indicator or say, hey, this fuse is popped, so there's no uh, power going through here, so it gives an indicator. So, makes a good idea so you know what circuit uh, popped and all that good stuff. If you have a good layout or a good schematic or a panel layout and a schematic to tell you what that circuit is, what it means, all that good stuff. So, yeah, I do recommend any type of indicator for a fuse is a good thing to have. So, you will definitely want to know... Uh, you know how to handle that issue so if you're doing the wire and you have someone wire the car for you most important thing make sure they supply some type of a diagram schematic whatever exactly how your car is laid out uh if you do it yourself it's up to you uh if you have someone else do it i'm hope that they'll do it uh, if anybody is out there, you know, does this for a living, leave it down in the comment section. Be kind of curious to see if you actually supply them a schematic or something like that. If you want to do a whole car or if you supply them just a panel board, do you supply them a, a some type of a layout with that as well? I'm not too sure how other people do it. I know if I was doing this for a living, I would supply them not only uh, the panel board layout, something like this. I would also supply them a schematic as well, how that board is activated and stuff so uh, be kind of curious to hear from people that does this for a living or might not do it living but do it for other people you know uh so be kind of curious to see what other people people out there do so if you have any suggestions or if you have any comments about it, hey leave it down there I'd like to hear about it okay uh good news that's right everything has been wired up has been checked and it is working 100 percent the only thing i have not checked yet is actually starting the motor up but i have no issues with that because the signal wire is getting out there to turn on the msd box so as long as power is getting out there the car is going to start so with that guess what dash time that's right going to get the dash put back in the car going to slide all the gauges in place all the panels all that stuff let's get this thing back together so uh, i'm very happy how things came out and uh, let's get started with the uh the dash install here we go hey guess what the dash is all back in and i look good just doing the final uh wiring down here on the bottom this is where all my uh, delay box uh power rpm uh shift boxes uh trans brake button all that gets wired down there so i'm in the process of getting that done just need to get the glove box on and uh guess what it's a wrap so anyway should be done with that here in the next day or so gonna have a really big major snowstorm here so not too sure if i'm gonna be able to get it done but i should so i'll have some cool pictures of the snow so anyway uh yep looking good so one more day it'll be done yeah lots of snow <laughs> okay that's right we are officially done okay all i got to get the window in no biggie that would be a simple thing to do but the dash is all installed everything is connected I might have to tie this down just a little bit in here, but the box back here, or the, the power panel back here is all in, installed, everything's connected. So far, everything's been tested out, so I'm going to test fire this car here over the weekend and see how she goes. But, uh, yeah, everything's done, everything works. I just now just have to uh, fire it up, see how it goes. So, uh anyway might as well sit in here and show you the only thing i don't like i don't know what i can do my little shift light is on all the time so as long as the power's on that's actually on um i used to have it when i had ignition on it power all the gauges up i turn the ignition off it powers everything down the wiring was not set up for this way uh the re the thought process was so i could see the oil temp and uh all the temper gauge 
uh, especially the water temp as we cool things down or heat things up just see what they were at uh, but the majority of the times the ignition or the uh, power to the car will be off so uh, only time the power will be on if i'm up in the stage lanes and just waiting to go and stuff like that gauges they don't drop much, that much power but if i'm sitting there for quite some time i will kick the power off on the back of the car and turn it on when we get ready to go down the track so anyway that's the only thing i see that i might not like but uh live with it for now and uh, if i have to make a change i'll make a change Well, that's it for the video. Um, hopefully you got something, you know, something out of the video. Uh, appreciate for the people who have been watching me, this, you know, four parts of this and the struggles and stuff I have had with this. But, uh, but yeah, now I think it came out really nice. I'm pleased with it. The true test when I start to go down the track with the car and race with, you know, and see how, uh, how, how it performs and stuff like that. So I'm hopefully we'll have any issues blowing fuses relay problems come losing to that stuff but that's waiting to be seen so uh this is my first really good rewiring job on the car so hopefully uh it all works as you know as it was designed to but uh if you want a copy of the schematic that i used to wire my car i mean i can i can leave a uh a copy of it at the end of the video you can screenshot it and print it out if you want to same way with the power panel i can screenshot that and just post at the very end of the video but if you want a hard copy like a pdf file or something like that uh just email me and i'll be more than happy to send it to you uh i'll leave my email in the uh description of the video you know say you know email me for in you know subject you know schematics or something like that but anyway uh i'll have it in the description of how to do all that good stuff but um if you do like what you see go ahead and hit that subscribe button Give me a thumbs up say hey you know it's a pretty good video uh expect more videos similar to like this or probably not as much wire and stuff like that but uh but yeah uh you know click on the little bell you know tell you hey i got another video out so anyway with that uh i'm done with this project on to the next uh, next project is sitting right over here behind me so uh that's going to be coming here in the next coming weeks what we're going to be doing to that so anyway uh with that i'm out here